journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Um, we are going to talk about, this is a chart of the E-mini S&P that we talked about on Friday on the live trading. You'll notice from the high that we made way back in October the 18th when we were topping right here, the 1.618 expansion came in at 60.50. The high was 60.52. But if you'll also remember, we were talking about this last week. It comes from our good friend T. West, who does a lot of great work. I want to bring this up here so you can see it. This was her prediction done quite a while ago, and they're waiting for the S&P to get, this was the S&P Y, to get above 600. All right, now what we're going to do now, just for kicks and giggles, we see how close she came today. We'll get back up to our charts. We're going to come down here and look at the SPY. The answer to the question several people have asked me, have I seen anything like this in the stock market or any other markets before? Other markets, of course, but not stock markets. Stock market is a large market. You've seen it in cocoa and beans and all that other stuff through the years, but not in stocks. Even in 1929, that did not happen. So we're looking, we're, we're, we're really looking at history and it's gonna be uh, quite interesting to watch how it, how it unfolds. It's not gonna be pretty, I can tell you that. Now this is the SPY. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna to go to the daily and we're gonna take a look at that and you're gonna see where we are here on the daily. You'll just look at it right here. Here's the SPY. There's our number right here and our high for the day was 60. 0.17. We're a little bit below that now. Folks, I want you to look at this. This is the largest gap ever in the S&P 500. Okay. We had a gap here. We had a gap this morning, but it was filled right away. So we've completed an ABC at 1.618, three gaps up, multiple ABCD. But you know what? Nobody gives a care. So it don't make no difference. Do it. Okay. Another one that looks real interesting here on a long-term basis that I was really expecting to hold but it in fact didn't, is the Russell. This is the Russell here on a shorter term basis. What we're gonna do now is look at it on the weekly. And as you can see here, we did get to almost this level right here, 2460. The high today has been 2455. The old high that we made way back when was 2453, I guess. And that was several years ago. Let's just get back here uh, 20, yeah, this is hit in 2022. We get as high as 20, the high was 2060. And today's high was 20, uh, let's just see what it was. I just, just, just I thought it was 20, how did we get today? We got to, uh, I don't trade the Russell, so I'm looking at it right here. The high today was, it uh, uh, doesn't show 2056, I think that's what it is. Just a second, I gotta line this up so I can read it better. 20, 5560. So it didn't take out the highs a few years ago, but uh, it certainly had a big run up here. Uh, whether we're going to see if it's going to do that or not, it certainly could because they're putting so much money in it. It's just uh, really unbelievable. But when you see things like this, and take a break here from the futures, but it, when you see things like that are happening in Tesla here, now, Remember, we took a look at Tesla almost every day, and down here was a 61% retracement right before earnings. Then the market exploded to the upside, then came back down, and then this was the election night. Look where it went to, folks. Do you realize if you'd have bought that 210 to 350, you can go out to eat several nights a week when you, uh, when you have a move like this. But look at all the gaps, and all of these gaps in Tesla have all been filled. So why wouldn't the others? We, this one hasn't been filled. So we're having some good action. So that's the main thing. Another stock that's been in the news quite a bit that people have asked me to talk about was NVIDIA and how it could be down today. Well, folks, sometimes stocks go up, sometimes stocks go down. 
Here's NVIDIA. Uh, yep, we've had a little bit of a move down. Now, I didn't take out the high of uh, the night before the after the election, but now we've had a pretty good move down, but it's virtually nothing. If you look at it from the low to the high, you'll see that we just came down to almost the exact 382 this morning, and we've held that so far. If we start getting below this, below 142 or so, then I'll say, yeah, maybe this could be something pretty pretty exciting. But also, look at something else for you. See that, see that number up over there in the far left, folks? 1.618, look at that. 149.90, the high was 149.77. Now, I think someone should pay attention to those types of numbers. All I do is I look at those numbers and things like this A, B, C, D pattern right in here, and that's what I look for. And now sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but what? System doesn't do that. So let's move on to carry a couple questions out that people have asked about here. We've covered NVIDIA, and someone's asked a question about our first most profitable. In fact, uh, NVIDIA passed Apple along, uh, several days ago, folks, as the most uh, expensive stock uh, in the world. Hold on a second here, and we'll get Apple up here. This is a 60-minute. We'll see what it's doing. Oh, it's down today. I didn't know that. Well, it made the uh, fact is this morning what it did do, if you like Fibonacci numbers, it rallied up and made a 61% retracement of the high we made right back here, which would have been also 50%. That, excuse me, folks, I got to correct that. That was Friday. Okay, here was the opening, a gap down today. So uh, that's, uh, there it is right there. 50% there and 61 off that. That's really a nice, and that's a nice move, you know, good 5% in the, uh, uh, in the uh, in one day, which is pretty good. All right, we'll get this out of the way here, and we have a question about the corn that we were looking at on the air last week, and we'll get it up here. Here is the Christmas corn right here, and we'll get the, the, the price up here. We'll get the daily up because that's what we were looking at, and you'll see daily went right up to our price. This is one of the trades that we had on for the uh, service on Friday, and it's made uh, you know well over it's about 400 bucks right now. At one time today, it was up about uh, 500, but you're at break even now, and we'll see where it's going to uh, going to end up. Another one that we did. Uh, oh, we got to, excuse me, folks, I've got to get to the currencies because people have been asking because we've been short the British pound since Hector was a pup. And let's just take a look. There's where we are in the British pound here. This is today's action. We'll look at it on the hourly and you can see it just keeps dropping and dropping and dropping. Now, we didn't short it in here, folks. We shorted it up at the 1.786 number right here at 134.10. The high was 134.28, and if you looked at that on the long-term weekly, that which we did, that was the exact 786. There's where we sold it at 134.10. Here's where we are now. We're assuming, and assuming is you know you make it, well whatever. You'll see it right here and right there. Okay. Now someone's asked me about gaps in the market. Well, I can tell you what W. D. Gann said about gaps. Gaps, gaps are everywhere. They will test your strongest underwear. And that's a legitimate quote from 1939, folks. And he's right so far, isn't he? Can you imagine someone that has a uh, put option on and it, oh, the market opens uh, like a Tesla, uh, $9,000 higher, whatever it happens to be, who knows? But that's what we're gonna be looking at. These gaps will be filled, folks. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. 
Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Okay, folks, I want to check something here quickly while we're talking. I want to see. Uh, this is the microcomputer guy. He, this has got to be the richest guy in the world now. Uh, you can see what's happening with the gaps that we've had here uh, in uh, Bitcoin and stuff. And so it's, uh, I don't know much about this, but the fact that it's going this high. I rely on John Jameson at 18,000. He said it was going to go to 80,000, and here we are now. He thinks it's going to have a little trouble between uh 85 and 90 and then he said maybe if it backs off he said it might get to 100 but uh you know i don't know anything about it and i i'm not ashamed that i don't know anything about it i'm just uh i don't know anything about it there's a lot of things i don't know anything about actually all right let's get back to these markets let's take a look here at some of the metals we've already talked about the gold we've been bearish platinum for a very very long time uh let's well we'll look at that one first here's platinum coming down really hard you can see here we had a 61 percent retracement here just yesterday boom down it came uh we had we already talked about the gold we'll next look at the copper market we're also been bearish on crude oil we'll cover that in just a moment and uh this all the technical stuff folks i i don't do much with the fundamentals as you already know because i if i did i'd probably be long a bunch of stocks hold on here a second where's the uh here's where we are with the copper get it up here and you could see here had a 786 retracement here this morning uh, excuse me that was Friday there's where wow I didn't see that I wish we would have been well it would have been too late because uh, this was after the uh, the show had started on Friday but there it is right here and we did look for 382 right here but we missed it it didn't even come close now what that does is it sets up a giant ABCD here down a little bit lower believe me if we're going to go to war or not go to war uh, or use any type of electrical equipment, copper is going to be needed eventually. Okay, so we're down well over a dollar twenty a camp pound in that, and the next stop will should be down here. Well, this already completed that. Hold on one second. It's not drawing to. Oh, Larry, dog got it. Give me a second here. I'll get this puppy back up again. Me and technical difficulties. We ride hand in hand over the sunset. Clean that out and you'll be able to see here that we've got, you see where it's gonna go. It's gonna go right here to 415, which is the 1.27, that's all it is. So that's what you're gonna be watching. Another 10 cents lower, there it is, 418 to 415 uh, in the copper should be some pretty good support. Now let's look at the old Moon Rangers friend, silver, and boy, it has been bearish for a very long time. 
This is the one that we uh, were looking at very closely on Friday. We missed it by a heartbeat on the 3A2. And as now you can see here, well, let's get this on the longer term daily so you can see where we are. We're coming down really sharply here. Now, the real key from my perspective is just looking at this like this. We had the ABCDs up. This missed this monster, if you remember, on the weekly that was a big 1.6. Oh, this is because it's December silver and not the continuation. Now let's do it the right way. Let's get the continuation up so we can see it together. And because continuation factors in all of this other stuff and put the weekly up and you'll see where we are, where that big number was just 10 cents away right there. There's 10 cents difference right there. It got to there, it never got to there. The gold did, but the silver didn't. So now we're coming down really strong. This is suggesting that we're having a really good correction. Well, we've had these corrections before. We dropped 32. We dropped uh, seven cents, seven dollars an ounce. Okay, that's not a big deal. The one that's going to be important is if you looked at this from a long-term standpoint. This was a big correction right here. Okay, but if you looked at it from back here, where were you sitting? Right there. There was your 3A2, A, B, C, D, right at the 3A2. So that's what that's the important number. Now, we know where we are here. We made a higher high. So the first thing you want to do, and believe me, folks, I'm still bullish silver and gold. I, I am. I just thought that that top was going to be pretty uh, significant. Now, look, from this high, look where we're going to come down to. We're not very far away. We're two bucks, two bucks an ounce right in here. Right around 30, we're right around $28. Now, is that going to be important? I think so, because as you look at this, there's your A, B, C, D pattern right here. A, B, C, D. Some of these work, some of them don't. There's your move down. All right, that was a pretty symmetrical move. We're going to move this over. Voila. Why not take a look at that? We've looked at this before. These, these types of things work pretty good. So you got pretty good harmony in here. Look at the last move you had. It's not a big deal for silver to lose. Uh, how much would it lose there at that point? It would lose, uh, that's not much. That's only eight cents, uh, seven cents. Not even seven, three, six, five cents. That's only a five, five cents, five dollar move down. That's nothing. When I first started trading silver, it was a dollar 86. Here it is right there. There it is right there. There's where you want to be watching it at this level. I think this is going to be where it's going to be drawn to because that's just such a, such a powerful number. We're down one, two, three, four. Uh, this is our fourth week down, so in a week or two, we'll probably be looking at this as a as a pretty good buy in the silver market. Long term, if you own silver, hold it because they don't make it anymore, and there's not much left in the ground. So hang into it, and I think you'll be, uh, I think you'll be, uh, I think you'll be okay. Okay, we got that one covered. We got two minutes to go, and we've been asked to take a look at one of these banking stocks. I'm going to look at all of them together because, folks, when you go back and look at this in a month. Said someone said we should be really careful up in here. Here it is right here. This is the weekly. Let's get to the daily so you can see the gap. I should say, yeah, there, there is the gap. See, it's already gone above high of the election. So we've, we've, we've exceeded that. We've left this giant island up here. But, folks, things like this never, ever correct when you have an island like this. Oops, what's this over here, Red Rider? Look at this big gap right here. Okay, where did it do? It corrected from 60 to 48. It dropped 15%, 20, yeah, 20%. Now here's where we are right up in here. So, you know, I have never seen this many gaps in the Dow Jones and all this other stuff in my entire life. I mean, L-I-F-E, life. <laughs> so that's why I'm so skeptical of this thing going much higher. And I said Friday was probably going to be it, but I was wrong. Uh, they went higher by a little bit, but, you know, who knows from that level what's going to happen, and I really don't know. But we'll all figure this out together eventually. Okay, uh, someone asked a question about soybeans. I'm going to have to hurry here. Uh, soybeans were in a sell mode, as we talked about on Friday. Get up here where we are, soybeans, there's where we are. We're in Jan beans now, and you'll see that we run it at 11, a lot of problems up there at that 1140. This is a weekly. Let's try an hourly chart so we can see a lot of trouble up here at 1140. Oh, oh my gosh, boys and girls. Look at that number there on the left. What does that number mean to you? Well, pay attention to it, boys and girls, because that number we hit today in the S&P 500 was 39,000, excuse me, 60,000. 
got to take different medication. 6,000, 5250. The 1.618 was 6,051. Pretty close. Here's what we're doing here. Now we're backing off pretty good in beans. We should get a little bit more of a pullback. A lot of these commodities are backing off. Our, our hog position is still working nicely. Uh, the soybean oil nicely, corn nicely. The bonds are still looking good. I don't think I have time for bonds because the king's coming up and we want to listen to him. And he'll be up in just a minute. We'll be with Norm Winsky from Astro Tens, Trends in <laughs> just a second. <laughs> Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. We're back, folks, with Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. I have some questions at the end of the show, so stay with us. Okay, Norm? Please yes, continue. Larry, thanks for having me on your show. Yeah. Well, ha happy to have you. Please continue. Okay, before I get started, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our veterans that uh, helped keep us free, you know? 
right? Amen to that, double double level, that's for sure. Okay. So anyway, I was last on your show on October 28th, and I gave two cycle uh, forecast points. Uh, the That was a Monday. Uh, and the, a couple days later, the morning of the 30th, we had Venus apihelion. Apihelion is a word from the Greek. Helios is a uh, sun in Greek. And uh, ap, when you put A in front of it like that, like this, apihel, that means how far. Venus is a 225-day cycle. And Venus was at its farthest point in that cycle around the sun. I will be looking at cattle, corn, copper, cotton, gold, sugar, and wheat. Then the uh, night of the 31st, early on November 1, we had a new moon in the sign of Scorpio. Anytime we have a new moon, full moon, round up the usual suspects, financials, grains, precious metals, soybean, uh, and then we were emphasizing, I don't know why we had soybeans there, but oil, uh, soybeans comes under grains anyway, oil, cocoa, hogs, and tea bombs. Okay, I'm going to delete that. That's extra emphasis on soybeans, which we shouldn't have had. But that's okay. We're covering soybeans anyway. So anyway, now I'm going to show you the charts. Here we had two points for corn. We had the Venus apihelion. And we have the, the, the new moon. So there you go. You got a little short-term top there on the corn. And then it went down right to the moon. And right there. And then it went big up. So that was good. Uh, by the way, I, if you haven't seen me before, I'm, I'm on like a traffic light system here, red, yellow, green. Green is good. That means you had a chance to make some money. Yellow, that means it was going sideways and we don't do anything. And red is a miss. So here's soybeans. They went up, up, up. And the, my other money, you know, I looked to sell on the strength or buy on the weakness. And uh, here you had uh, the soybeans stop going up. But then they just went sideways, so that's a miss. You would have been probably lost, made broke even, or maybe you had a small loss. Here's wheat. You had a short-term high here on the Venus at the helium point in the morning of the 30th. Uh, and uh, as you can see, then it dipped there, and then it just was going sideways into the moon, so we do nothing. Here's cattle. That's a big miss there, down, and then you just kept going. And here's cotton just going sideways. Had quite a few sideways markets on, on, on this review. Uh, cocoa just going sideways. Here's a beauty, though, hogs. This is one of my be best ones of this review. Uh, you can see the hogs went up, 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 and we caught the high day. That was on the new moon in Scorpio. And then down, down, down. So I think we picked. you could have picked up about... Four or five handles. That's eighty-five. That's twenty-five hundred dollars. Norm, twenty-five hundred dollars. There you go. There you go. That's a lot of bacon, huh, Larry? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sugar. There we go. We're going. Uh, that's a miss there. And crude oil. You had a little short-term top there. Copper. We're just going dead sideways. That's it. Silver, that uh, was, uh, again, another one where it stopped going in that direction. They just went sideways. We didn't, didn't want to give you any money. So you either have a small loss or a break even. Here's gold, though. Gold, by the way, I'm going to pay attention to this now because gold is down another $75 today, I think. Right, Larry? And yes, sir. Uh, it looked a little while ago. And so here's the high of the month right here. On Venus apihelion, you know, some people complain, why do you go through all this review? Because look what you can learn here. The high of the whole gold move to new all-time highs topped out on Venus apihelion. Maybe you can use that in the future. Again, when it, these cycles all repeat. Uh, here we stopped. Here, if you bought there, again, it just went sideways. And so you either broke even or had a small loss. Here's uh, S&P. It rallied into the Venus apihelion and made, then it made a nice low on the moon, on the new moon. Here's bonds into the new moon and big down. After If you sold there, you would have done well. That's a, looks like a couple handles there. Maybe let's see what it got. One 18 down to ones. 
A buck and a half. Buck and a half. Fifteen hundred dollars. All right, and here's your dollar. If you bought there on the opening, it had a nice pop up, and you had a chance to make some money. And here's your currencies. Here's your BP, British pound, made it low right near the new moon. Here's Canadian dollar, even better, right on bullseye, right on the moon, big up there. Here's the euro, made a short-term top there. Here's Japanese yen, made a short-term top. Here's the Swiss franc, another nice top there on the moon. So if you add up the greens and the reds, we got 15 winners, five misses out of 20, or 75%. Okay, then we're moving ahead here now. Here's my Bradley style forecast I do several weeks in advance. Here, the blue line is the, I did this, this is the review for October, and I did this blue line back in like September. And uh, this chart, I recommend you do a screenshot or something. There's an entire class on this chart. I got all the important planetary points marked on this chart. There's Merkur perigee, and you can see there you're right near a low. There's Jupiter turning retrograde there. They got a little top there. And we have a couple of big points here. Mercury zero south latitude, Pluto going direct right there. And so, you know, I didn't show you this in advance, but you can look up all these points and then go look at the market and you'll see I'm not fudging anything here. Here's Mercury Happy Helion. There's a beautiful top there for Mercury Happy Helion. And there's your Venus Happy Helion there. And that was a huge, that was the top and then a huge decline following that. And oh, here's the new moon right there. And that was a nice, look at that nice low there and so forth. So anyway, here's what's coming up in the future as we gaze into our crystal ball. Uh, later this week, the night of the 14th, AC is after the close. We'll have Saturn in Pisces turning direct. Well, Pisces is oil and Saturn is coffee. And I noticed that uh, oil's having a pretty good down today. I think it's down about two bucks. And if oil were to continue lower into the night of the 14th, the close of the 14th, I'd be looking for a low. Of We've got to pay a few bills, my friend, so we'll be right back. Okay. okay? Stay with us, Norm. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, 
charts and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're back speaking with Norm Winsky of Astro Trans. Please continue, Norm. Thank you, Larry. I, well, while we were away on the commercial, I was thinking about the gold. I just want to emphasize that the gold top right on Venus Aphelion, and it's now it's a new all it was a new all time high there, and now it's down about two hundred dollars from that high. So you might want to that's pay true. attention to that sort of thing, you know. Okay, so that's anyway, one of our questions. That's one of our questions, question? Norm. When is the next time we have a Venus Aphelion? Well, that'll be about two hundred twenty-five days. That's what the Venus cycle is two twenty-five. Which, all by right. the way, Gary, you will enjoy. That it's about 0.617 of Earth. Yep, I knew that. Okay. So anyway, I was mentioning when we went for the commercial that uh, the night of the 14th, let's see what kind of day is that? That's a Thursday night. Uh, that will AC is after the close. We'll have Saturn in this and Pisces. Saturn is coffee and Pisces is oil. And Saturn is going to be direct. That's opposite of retrograde. So Saturn's going to be doing a thing there. If you want more information, give me a call. I'll be happy to talk to you. And uh, there we go. So watch for that tonight into the morning of the 15th. Coffee and oil, especially if they are moving strongly in one direction. The, it's Newton's law. For every action, there's an opposite equal reaction. And if they're going sideways, forget about it. Okay? So there we go. So then we the night and then the weekend of the 15th. We got uh, zing, zoom, zang, bing, bang, boom. We got uh, a triple whammy, Larry, a triple whammy. We got a full moon in the sign of Taurus, the bull. So financials, grains, precious metal, oil. And we're running a special on cattle and cotton with the moon in Taurus. Then we also have a mercury cycle. And that's each time we have mercury, we want to look at the grains, corn, soybeans, wheat. And then we also have, over that weekend, Uranus perigee. That's when Uranus will be closer to the Earth. I think that's an annual cycle there. And we want to look at uh, cattle, cotton, and copper. And then uh, the night of the 19th, that'll be a, where's the 19th? The 19th is a Tuesday. The so Tuesday night into Wednesday the 20th, we have geo-Pluto, geocentric Pluto, and for changing sign. Going back into Aquarius, it's been whipsawing back and forth here because Pluto is uh, one of the outer planets, and that's what they do from the point of view of Earth. And they're going to be changing signs, so we'll be watching cattle, cocoa, copper, going into the sign of Aquarius. That's copper, corn, cotton, gold, hog, sugar, wheat. Going to be hitting a lot of markets there. And that's my forecast for the day. You might want to take a screenshot of that or whatever. And I've been doing this. Uh, when do you want to do the questions, Larry? Before right, let's do them. Let's do them right now. The first question is you've already answered about Venus aphelion. 
Okay. Now, the, the other question is, have you ever seen gaps like we're seeing here in the Dow Jones stocks and many other stocks, these many big gaps in the stock market? Well, yeah, we've been having them for the past year or more, you know. No, I'm, you go, the size of the gaps. The pandemic the stock, panic, we had a lot of gaps there. The, the size of the gaps, Norm, is what he was referring to. Oh, well, we had a we had a gap back in August where I went on your show on August Friday, August the 2nd. I said, oh, well, look, Larry, here's one of our favorite patterns. Uh, new moon, Mercury turning retrograde over the weekend. And I said, I think we should have, well, we should have a low Monday morning. And if you remember, the S&P gapped down 200 handles. And it made it right that. there on the opening. Remember that one? I was telling people to cover short that day. Listen, thanks for joining us, my friend, and we'll have you on again soon. Oh, you want to put your – You got to let me tell the people how to get a hold of me, right? That's, that was my next statement. Go right ahead. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay. All right. Anyway, so I've been doing this a long time. As you can see, I'm a former Chicago floor trader and been doing this since, they, you know, I was started trading in college and made enough money to buy a membership on the Chicago Board Options Exchange. Landed in Chicago there, did that for 12 years, a CBOE, Board of Trade, so forth. And now, and here's the exciting news. If you're looking at this stuff and saying, oh, I can't do that, think again. I, nothing that I do is over grade school level or fifth grade level, and I, all you got to do is learn some new terminology, and that's it, and I'll help you. And if you call me and talk to me, seems a lot of people don't want to talk to people anymore. If you call and talk to me, I'll send you a re re free report all on about what happened in October and my results for the whole month, and with the number, my numbers going back all the way to 2016. So call me, I'll be happy, looking forward to helping you. You got questions, I'll give you a free class, whatever. So okay. here we go, call Norm at 239-594-3939. I'm in beautiful Naples, Florida, or you can email me at annwinsky at yahoo.com, or you can call me on Skype at the same address, n-w-i-n-s-k-i at yahoo.com. And here's my contact info. And I don't know who that guy is, but uh, you'll be probably be talking to him. And, Robert uh, Redford, I think. What's that again? I thought it was Robert Redford. Listen, Norm, yeah. thanks for joining us, my friend. So we'll see you soon, okay? All right. Thanks a lot, Larry. I hope some of your folks you bet. Call, call me soon. I uh, will do. Okay, we're going to take a look at some charts here now, folks. Get back up here, and uh, if I can just get them set up to do it the right way. Hold on a second. We've got about five minutes left in the segment, and there were a couple other questions that people were asking about, and one of them was with uh, Bitcoin, and I don't know really how I can answer this other than I have a coin here. I think this might be, oh, Bitto, maybe that's it. Let's take a look. No, that isn't it. That's whatever Bitto, that's not, uh, that's not it. So let's take a look at uh, coin. You know, I could have got this if I'd known the question was coming from uh, yeah, this is a good one. This is coin on the weekly basis. It was trading at uh, 20, and now it's only 329. Okay, now <laughs> there's a lot of patterns in here, but you know I don't do that. Let's just do the daily to see where we are here. Uh, I don't know if this has made a new high yet. No, it hasn't even made a new. Let's look at the weekly on this because it hasn't even made a new high, and Bitcoin's going nuts. So that can't be Bitcoin. I don't know anything about it. I should shut up. And think I was a fool then to keep talking and remove all doubt. I don't know who said that, but he was a smart dude. All right, one other question that we had before the break comes up was about emerging markets. And I want to bring this up to show you that the emerging markets are not performing like they are in the United States. This is true of Hong Kong. I'm going to cover Hong Kong right now. I'm going to get it up here and continue here. We'll do, we'll do the Japanese first. Okay, now you see the Japanese, we had this big move up in the weekly. Look what's happened on the daily, folks. All it's done is yesterday, the other day was just right at the 382, the election thing. And all it could do was make a 382. After all this news and all this stuff coming in, that just doesn't look very bullish. But, you know, sometimes the markets take a couple days to react to it. But those are the things that we're paying attention to today. So those are the emerging market. It doesn't look that good. I will do the Hang Seng right now. Hopefully, we'll get it done before the break. And there it is. We'll pop it up. And here again, the same thing. This is the weekly. There was the Chinese stuff went to the 50%. If we go down to the daily, 
I'm probably into the break section. All we did the other day was make a 50%, and this is what we did today. So they're not acting like the rest of it. We'll find out. We'll be back, folks, in just a few minutes. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educate investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hey, folks, this is how you get the Dow Jones up 2,000 points in a very short period of time. You've got high price stocks. They are price weighted, not cap weighted. In other words, six hundred and twenty-six dollars uh, has a uh, the same value as a has ten times the value as a sixty-dollar stock. Twenty of the stocks in the Dow are triple digit. Those are the ones you want to watch. This is uh, this is the this is the, the most expensive is this one right here, United Healthcare. Second is Goldman Sachs. Okay, that's where it is. Uh, the third, I believe, is Microsoft. Put Softy up here on the 60 minute and see how it's doing. It's actually uh, been down. I mean, it's uh, had a big run and then this rally is all it's been able to do. Softy has only been able to uh, make a 61% retracement on the Dow. So that's been holding it down a little bit. Uh, there's a bunch of others. So those are the main ones. Uh, I think Caterpillar, yes, Caterpillar's in that group. Let's take a look at that because I've never seen gaps like this. This is what I was trying to get through to Norm, but he doesn't do much stock trading, I don't believe. That's why he didn't. Uh, let's do that 60-minute on this one, too. 
And yeah, that's a, that was a 400, well, that's down quite a bit today. This has turned the corner on this one, maybe because the grains are selling off. Now, here was the here was the run up of the election, and boy, it's had a pretty big correction. That shows you some of these can correct. We've almost uh, almost get into filling this gap. We're not very far away. Let's see that the range today is uh, all we had. That was the three eight two this morning. Was the uh, was the high? There was the rally, and boom, there's where we're coming down. So I will wait and see. I will remain skeptical to the very end, as they say uh, in the trade. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude. God bless. And make sure that you come and listen to Norm Winsky's was today and tomorrow will be Stan Harley. You're going to like it, folks. I've seen what he's going to say. You're, great information. If you like cycles, stay tuned. We'll see you tomorrow. May God bless. 